Mark chapter 6 from verse 32 the Bible says and they departed into a desert place by sheep privately and the people saw them departing and many knew him and ran a foot thither out of all cities and out went them and came together unto him and Jesus when he came out so much people can somebody say much people and was moved with compassion towards them because they were a sheep not having a shepherd and he began to teach them many things and when the day was now far spent his disciples came unto him and said this is a desert place now the time is far past send them away that they may go into the country round about and into the villages and buy themselves bread for they have nothing to eat he answered and said unto them give ye them to eat and they said unto him shall we go and buy 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat i wanted to understand at this part it's it's not that they didn't have the money praise the name of the lord mark mark puts uh, uh puts it in a nice way to show us it is not that they didn't have the money because they already say eh, shall we go and buy we are ready to go and buy and they have already calculated a hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat you know these guys were rich they were loaded some of you don't believe me i'll keep on let me go and he said unto them how many loaves have ye go and see and when they knew they say five and two fishes and he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass and they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties and when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes he looked up to heaven and blessed and break the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them and the two fishes divided he among them all and they did all eat and were filled verse 43 can we read in concert Mm -hmm. 45. And they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. Mm -hmm. And straight away he was training his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before and to the side. Okay. I wanted us to end in verse 44. And they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. That is without counting the women. 5,000 men. We are told that wherever they, they are men somewhere, women have to be there. And the number of women is more than men. So theologians put it that the people that were present that day were about 15,000 to 20,000 people. Because a man came either with his family and women in a meeting and especially a religious meeting unless it is exclusively men's meeting are always more in the christian circles than women than men so we believe there are more men if there are four thousand men there are more women and maybe the women came with the children so they estimated is between 15 and twenty thousand people that ate from this few loaves and fish that was provided in that particular day the salmon series is creating the atmosphere today i talk about the atmosphere of increase let us pray father in the name of the lord we thank you for giving us such an auspicious moment lord as i stand before this august house i pray let your anointing rest upon my life and father i pray help us to understand the importance of creating an atmosphere anoint us oh god 
and minister to us in Jesus' and the whole church shouts a big amen. amen. I didn't hear you. Can you shout a big amen? amen? I was trying to look at the definition of this word atmosphere, and it has many definitions. Scientifically, they say atmosphere is defined as a layer of gases surrounding the earth as a layer of gases surrounding the earth but um, I looked further and and discovered that there are various uh, definitions that we can use so so as to fit the purpose of, of what I want to push today and, and the few days that are coming so uh, we can define atmosphere as the distinctive quality of a place the atmosphere, for those who are writing, is the distinctive quality of a place. You can define it as the character that a place has. You know, if you go to a five-star hotel, there are some characters that the five-star hotel must have. A hotel cannot be a five star if it does not have a pool and it has to be a big pool and not just one pool you know and 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 you cannot open a kiosk somewhere in the corner of 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 magongo and 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 in the junction towards uh changamwe in just a corner and you're only selling uh chapati and madondo and you call it a five star hotel because the character of a place does not fit the atmosphere are we together there are some things that must be in that area to to make the thing uh be what it's supposed to be so there's a character a certain character that has to be there so when we talk about uh, uh atmosphere we're talking about the character of a place when we talk about uh, atmosphere we're talking about the general impression that you get in a place when you walk in a place and 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 you find a receptionist and the receptionist is so moody as moody as can be and they are not invitive they are not inviting you they you ask them a question they answer you anyhow you can dictate i mean you can you can detect from that point that the atmosphere here is not correct are we together even if you go to a house and you are trying to visit a certain house and as soon as you enter the house uh, the wife of, of, of the house is, is looking at you with some very very bad eyes you know and 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 you want to sit and and maybe when you're sitting she's sweeping the house and she tells you lift up your legs and and she's sweeping the house and 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 when there's food they're bringing food they just come and throw food on your table you can know by the atmosphere there the, the, the impression that is being portrayed there that this atmosphere is not correct true or false there is something about this atmosphere so it is the general impression if you go to a place and people are welcoming people are so happy to see you people are looking forward they want to hug you they are happy they are smiling until you can see their wisdom teeth you are sure i am invited in this place why because of the general impression and you can say the atmosphere here is good so what is atmosphere it is the emotional tone it is the emotional tone of of art in a place emotional tone of art in a place in other words when you came here this building has been painted white you know it has been painted white and 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 when you go to most places that is painted white you understand that these people want it clean you know they, they are depicting a certain emotion true or false when you enter a house and and you find the man of the house is playing some certain kind of mu certain kind of music and 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 maybe the music is 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 soul music soul good music you know that that is soothing to your heart when you enter there you can know the emotional tone this guy in this house is so happy you know 
and that is the kind of tone he's depicting actually scientists have tried to, f to fuse together science and and business and 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 they have advised business people that in a shopping mall if you want people to stay longer play soothing music so the dj that is good and taught very well if he's playing music in a mall a big mall and people have entered the mall if he wants you to still keep on lingering in that particular place or in a shop they want you to still keep on lingering check all the 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 the, the, the things that are there sample the goods they begin playing nice cool music but when they realize that the shopping mall is congested and there are more people and they want you to get out so that they can have more people in they start playing music that is not soothing music that is so hard you know and they will bring rap they will bring all manner of things so that you you do not know but it is affecting you somehow somehow it is affecting you when they were playing cool music you are sampling things slowly but when they begin playing fast music and it, it is music that is so harsh hmm? it is kapuka or whatever you can call it naturally you will find yourself shopping as quickly as possible and without being told by anyone you want to be out of the shopping mall music why because they kind of deal with the atmosphere to maintain you there or to chase you away are we together so it is it is it is the emotional tone that is there and it is important for us to understand that that atmosphere we can also define it as the spiritual quality of a place the spiritual or natural quality of a place So when we are talking about atmosphere it is very very important I want you to understand why it is important write this write this anything that requires growth has to have a right atmosphere anything that requires growth must have a right atmosphere a child requires a certain atmosphere in the womb a fetus would call it like that for it to grow if the atmosphere is not correct it will not grow are we together fish needs a certain atmosphere it has to be in water and since it is in water it can survive you will be so stupid if you get fish out of water and then start getting a club to kill the fish why because when it is out of the atmosphere it will die naturally so you don't need a club you don't need anything to hit it or to kill it because everything that grows needs the right atmosphere are we together seeds and certain seeds can only grow in a certain kind of environment when we are talking about palm trees you will not see palm trees in 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 in, in a place where it is full of ice you know zero or 70 degrees zeros you will not see uh, 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 beyond i mean uh, uh, something like uh, 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 like the palm tree growing because the palm tree thrives in a place that is warm you know and, and sometimes in a hot place why because there is a certain atmosphere that will make the tree grow look at those who plant flowers you see greenhouses you see all manner of things they have to create a certain kind of atmosphere for them to ensure that they can grow something so seeds and anything that needs to grow must have a certain kind of atmosphere your success or failure therefore is in the atmosphere you are in if you're in the wrong atmosphere guess what you fail if you're in the right atmosphere guess what you succeed are we together so it is important for you to know as fish thrives in water so even you you thrive in a certain atmosphere if we get you out of that atmosphere you will die naturally some of you it is by worshiping god when 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 you all of us actually by worshiping god if we fail to worship god we naturally die some of it's by serving when you leave serving you naturally start falling whether you like it or not naturally because you have left your atmosphere 
God created you to serve. And God created you to give service to him. And when you live either by your own reasons or by someone else's reason, what happens is this naturally, the same way fish will leave its atmosphere and die. Even you, you have been created to thrive in a certain atmosphere. When you leave that atmosphere, what happens? Death begins to follow you. Things begin to follow you. Failure begins to encroach in your life. Why? It is not that the devil is against you. It is because you have left your atmosphere. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. stick to the right atmosphere. I want you to write this. There is a price for every atmosphere. I'm just laying the foundation because I said I'm going to deal with this series. There is a price for every atmosphere. We actually pay for right atmospheres. You cannot get a good atmosphere, an atmosphere that will make you thrive without paying for it. Hello? hello hey hello when you enter a good hotel and they are serving you chicken it is the same chicken you can cook in your house but because it is in a certain atmosphere hello it is in a certain as it is the same chicken my friend it is the same ugali my friend but because it is in a certain different atmosphere you have to pay for it. True or false? True. Hey, true or false? True. It is the same thing. And you will even see a, a lady will break up with you because you never take her out for the fish that you have always been cooking for her. It is the same fish. But because the atmosphere is not the same, she wants a different atmosphere. You know? So you, that thing can break up because atmosphere and the right atmosphere you have to pay for it praise the name of the lord Amen. you will have to pay for it you you cannot you cannot just say i will survive anyhow i will do any anything anyhow no it is not about an accident it is something that you have to be intentional willing to pay the price because atmospheres are built you have to build the atmosphere the atmosphere you want in your life, in your family, it does not come anyhow. You have to build it. Atmosphere for success is built. Are we together? Yes. You have to build it. Because it does not just come anyhow. It is not an adakadabra thing. It is not, it is not an accident. It is not, it is not, it is not a patapotea. Hello? Yeah. It is not a gamble. It is not lotto atmosphere you have to build it yeah. praise the name of the lord Amen. hey praise the name of the lord Amen. now understand this that god has given us power and authority to change and create the right atmosphere you have power and authority to change and why am i saying that is because most of us what we are how we move and what we do is a product of the atmosphere that we were raised in. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. If you have a problem with error and error, <laughs> it is your atmosphere. It is not that you're not educated. <laughs> Hello? If you have a problem with she and she, yes. you know that tribe? Yes. It is not that you are a, a lesser tribe. It is just the atmosphere. Yeah. Because you were raised in a certain place that she was she and she was she. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And it is just an atmosphere. It is, it is for you to, you can change that. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It can be changed. The fact that you are raised in a certain place and people are behaving in a certain way does not mean that you have received a death warrant in your life that you will always be that way forever. I came to tell you the devil is a liar. God has given you power to change your atmosphere. Amen. Can I hear an amen? So don't look at yourself and say, our family, we are like this. My sister was like that. My brother was like that. My whatever was like this. Even me, I'm like that. No, you can be the first one. There is always the first one in everything. Yes. And you can be the first one to get out. Yes. Amen. Hello? Are you ready for me today? Yes. Are you, I mean, you can be the first one. It doesn't matter how much you have goofed. You can be the first one to get out of the goofing clan. Yes. 
and be whoever God wants you to be because you have the power to change your atmosphere. God responds to atmosphere. I want you to know that. Because God is everywhere. Psalms 22 verse 3, the Bible says, Thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. God is everywhere. But God does not manifest everywhere. He, at, he manifests in certain atmospheres. So in as much as God is omnipresent, you can walk and not feel him. But when you have the right atmosphere, you will see God manifesting in that atmosphere. Can I hear an amen? amen. Let, me, let, me, let me also shock you. The devil is almost the same. The devil responds to certain atmospheres. <laughs> when you keep on listening to all manner of music, all manner of secular music, all manner of secular meeting, music, all manner of it, Talk of whatever. The song that is only always in your, in, in your, in your house is like what? Ikotite. That is the song is there. Ikotite. Every now and then. A morning. Guess what? The devil responds to a certain kind of atmosphere. Because when you are listening to that music and you are listening to all this other music and listening to all other kind of things, what is happening is this. You are creating an atmosphere whether you know it or not. And when you keep on doing that, he responds to it. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. When you keep on locking yourself with that boy, with that girl in a certain room, and it is dark, and you don't want anyone to know you are there, you are creating a certain atmosphere. And the devil will respond. Are we together? Why don't you want me to talk about these things? The way you are looking at me. Hey. The devil responds. You know that. The devil is, if you are a man and, 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 and you keep on looking at a lady and, and you keep on looking at her and you are sizing her from the chest to the behind, you are sizing her from the, you know what? The devil will respond. Because you are creating a certain atmosphere. As a man thinketh, so is. So the atmosphere of your mind will make either God dwell there or the devil dwell there. Hello? It is important for you to know. It, it is not that God does not want to do anything in your life. God is ready. He, he, in fact, he finished. He finished it long time. All what he needs is for you to create the atmosphere. And the things will be downloaded in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, create your atmosphere. So where, where, where there, are, there, there, are, there are places that demons cannot survive. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If demons are surviving in you, just know the atmosphere you've created. Is it a double point? Uh -huh. If it's a double point, can you do like, if it's a double point? Uh -huh. If the devil demons are in you, pastor, when I sleep, there is something that keeps moving from here. It moves from here, it comes to here, then it goes to my toe. And then from the toe, when it is around three, it decides to come. And then in the, at day, it gets to my stomach and it sleeps. When it is seven, it wakes up at night again and begins. My friend, the demon cannot survive in you if you've created the right atmosphere. Some people really make pastors overwork. Serious. We have to fast, pray to cast the demon out. And we cast it in January. By the time it is 15th of January, it has come back again. Then we cast it again. By the time it is February, it has come back again. Now, you will always be going through deliverance sessions every year. What is wrong with you? Hello? Hello. You don't need to be going through deliverance sessions every year. Yeah. Create the atmosphere. Yeah. Because the devil knows. I like what Bonke said. Bonke said something. He said, when, when the frying pan is cold... A fly can rest on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then he said, when the frying pan is hot, no fly, no fly can rest on it. Yeah. When you are hot, my brother, no demon will start sitting there. Yeah. 
You have allowed demons to come. They're even building a nest on your head. They are staying there. They have made a kamkunji in your house. When they want to meet, your house is the junction point. I came to tell you, create the atmosphere. Yeah. It cannot happen. Yeah. If you have the right atmosphere, there are some things that will get out. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me not go ahead of myself. So you have to know that we are products of atmosphere. When we have the right atmosphere, God begins to work in our life. Write this one down. It is not enough to create an atmosphere. You have to sustain the atmosphere. You have to sustain it. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to sustain it. The fact that you got a million to date does not mean you're a millionaire. You've just entered a certain atmosphere. Because the problem is this. There are people who enter the atmosphere. They don't sustain it. So after 6, 20 years, they are back. They are not in the millions. Can I talk this thing? Hello? You have to sustain it. Because some people, you enter into something, you know? And you want to label the whole of your life in that thing. The only way you can label the whole of your life is when you sustain it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you can stay in marriage for long, you are married. Yeah. You can boast and say, I'm married. Yeah. But have there been people who've been married and they're out? Yeah. True. Yeah. Are there people who will enter marriage tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. But the issue is about what? Sustenance. The devil is not afraid of you being a member of a church. Yeah. But are you able to sustain it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hello? That after 10 years, we will still find you in that place. Are you able to say, Jesus said, when I come back, will I still find faith? Yes. Now that you have faith today, that is not enough. We need to come 10, 20 years and still find you in faith. Yes. So you have to sustain it. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, yes. sustain it. Yes. Atmosphere, when it's sustained, it creates a climate. Like the way it has rained in Mombasa, there is something I want to explain here. A climate is a predictable pattern. Last year it never rained like that. Next year we are not sure about it. So there is no way we can say this is the climate of cost. There is no way we can call it like that. Yeah? Because if it is the climate, it will be so predictable. We will be knowing that from this time to this time, it will be raining like this. Now, there are some places the climate is clear. We know, you know, the climate has been there. Atmosphere was sustained and the climate was there. So at the end of the day, we all know, by the time it gets to this time, farmers begin to do what? Prepare. People begin what? To prepare. Because the climate is so clear about it. But when the atmosphere is not sustained, there is no climate. So we have flashes of this kind of movements here and there. We are not sure whether it's going to rain, whether it's not going to rain. We are not sure whether this will be there next year or whatever. We are not sure, even in our county, even, even in, our, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our in our in our county, we don't even have drainage because we 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 are used to a certain climate, not this one. Are you listening to me? Now understand this, God wants the church to remain the church yeah. there has to be a certain climate in the church i'm about to preach now preach. and the climate is something that is comes from a sustained atmosphere Amen. when people come to church they need to find god moving in the house of god not only in a flash sunday but every sunday because a climate has been sustained has been created praise the name of the lord the house of god should not be like the house of other places the house of god should remain the house of god the sad thing is that in this time and that age that we're living in atmosphere has not been created sustained and the climate has not been created in 
think that the church is so imbalanced that you're not sure whether God is going to move today or God is not going to move tomorrow. And the sad thing is this, you will find more sin in the house of God and sin defined more in the house of God than outside. Why? Because we have not known how to sustain the atmosphere. I came to tell you today, don't be a Christian only on Sunday. Don't be a Christian only on Wednesday. Don't be a Christian only when it is Christmas season. I came to tell you, you need to sustain that for God to move in your life and for God to do great things in your life you have to sustain the atmosphere of the presence of the Lord so that you can see great things happening in your life if you believe it shout and say amen, amen. people should enter the house of God and they meet God amen. praise the name of the Lord our singing should not be entertainment our singing should be about God so that people know it is God that they are coming for our coming to church should, should not be about any other thing it should be about God because when we sustain the atmosphere the climate is created and when a sinner enters the house of God they will know these ones are born again this is a Christian who has sustained the atmosphere of God and she or he is different from other people we live in a time where you cannot differentiate whether it's a Christian or not a Christian. They look the same. But I came to tell you, it was not in the intention of God. Can I preach today? Can I preach today? It was not in the intention of God. God wants you to create and sustain the atmosphere so that it becomes a climate, a predictable thing that the Lord will know and speak concerning you like the way he did for Job. Job had retained that atmosphere until God knew, regardless of what the devil does, the man will keep on standing. That will be your portion. I said, that will be your portion. I said, that will be your portion. God needs to lift you to a place where it doesn't matter what happens, we will still find you a Christian because you are predictable before God. God knows even if that job is away, you will still remain a Christian. Even if that person leaves you, you will still remain a Christian. Even if that person says one, two, three, or three, or four, you will still remain a Christian. Even if they scandalize you, he knows that you will still remain a Christian. You will not leave the faith because things have happened in your life. You have sustained the atmosphere enough that the climate of Christianity that Christianity is imbibed in you God is in you when we cut your blood it's talking about God when we check your DNA it's talking about God when we listen to your talk it's about God when we listen to the things you do it's about God it can only happen when you sustain a sudden atmosphere Amen. the problem is that we have visitors and not dwellers I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Christians have become visitors. You visit and you tour. You enter into the house of God as if it is a hospital. I mean a problem. And when the God, uh, when Dr. God has already cured you, you are out of it. David said, I will dwell. You need to dwell. You need to be there. You need to have the presence of God 24 7. Atmosphere of increase. In the story that we have read, we see how Jesus went to a solitary place. And the Bible says this, that when he went to a solitary place, people saw him as he was going. They saw him as he was leaving. And when they saw that he was departing, the Bible says that they all ran on foot, thither out of all cities, and went out for them and to them that is verse 33 i want to show you some few things and get out of your way for us to have the atmosphere of increase in our life it is important for us to understand we need to have the hunger and the thirst for the glory of god so number one right great desire for god we need to have the great desire for god for us to see increase in our life great desire they had the craving when he went to a far place the bible says clearly when people heard about it they began to follow and they followed on foot and they followed where he was and they went where he was why because they had the hunger and the thirst for the god and for for, for god and for the word of god the problem is this do we have the hunger and the thirst for the word of god can you do everything to ensure that you are where Jesus is meeting with his people? 
when they heard that he has gone to a far place he went by boat but they followed on foot these guys were hungry they had the craving for god for there to be an increase in your life for you to create the atmosphere of increase i wanted to understand something brethren we have to have the hunger and the thirst for god can somebody say hunger i didn't hear you can you say hunger you need to be hungry for god you need to be looking for god everywhere you cannot survive a day without prayer you cannot survive a day without reading the word of god you cannot survive a week without entering the house of god when that happens something in you will begin ticking and saying there's an alarm and alarm will begin going on telling you there is something that you're missing but let me say this if you are a christian you have not read the word three months and you're not feeling anything there is something Something wrong if you're a Christian you do not you miss a Sunday service and you don't feel anything there is something wrong because every time you do not have the hunger and the thirst for the Word of God you miss what God has for you God wants you to be like these people when they saw Jesus moving they followed him on foot because they were hungry for the word the church should be a church where people are hungry for the Word of God tell your neighbor neighbor you need to have the hunger for God. How comes your stomach is always telling you I'm hungry? Some of you cannot even stay in a meeting when you are hungry. You will have to go. You will have to leave. There are people who literally shake when they are hungry. Have you met such kind of people? They literally shake. They shake. Hunger has come. Ha! The person shakes. As soon as you give them food, they are okay. Yeah? As soon as you give them food, they're okay. And there are people who will never come to a meeting until you give them food. Hello? How comes our physic, physical bodies will always dictate to you and speak to you about what you need to have and what you need to eat and you're so quick to know I am hungry and you cannot dictate the hunger of God. You cannot detect the hunger of God in your life. The hunger of God in your life should be more than the hunger of food. Man shall not live by bread alone, Matthew 4, 4, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. So everyone must understand, we need to have the hunger for God. Tell your neighbor, you need to have the hunger for God. I know the reason why people are so quiet is because you don't like my message but i'll push it i'll push it we'll get to the mountaintop together today in the name of the lord understand you need your hunger for god must be more than the hunger for any other thing yeah. hello it must be more than the hunger for any other thing if you're putting effort in getting other things more than you're putting effort in getting the presence of god please change they followed him on foot they were hungry they were hungry they had a great desire and what we need to have is a great desire this great desire has to be there people are de people desire cars you desire nice cars you want a Lamborghini. you have you want you want a bugatti you want this and a man can describe to you how a lamborghini works how a bugatti works why a toyota is better than a nissan and why a mercedes-benz is better than this a man can describe to you if you want a hard terrain car a rugged car you need to buy this and if you want a car for the city you need to buy that a man can explain to you what 4500 cc means but the worst thing is this we know more of cars and machines more than we know of god and when we live as christians and we oh, that is the only thing that we know we are not creating the atmosphere for increase because god does not move in your earthly knowledge he moves when you know how to subject the earthly knowledge and bring it to god and to use it in for searching god <laughs> we post more on facebook than we post in heaven. Can I preach this thing? We post more. My goodness. You post. You, are, you, you hashtag more. On Facebook. You shake Instagram. More than you shake demons. You are everywhere. You know. And the reason is because. We are we 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 like just being like that. We we are busy in, in in the social platform and we 
we forget to know before you socialize with man you must have a relationship with God have you socialized with heaven let me use that word have you socialized with heaven before you get to your social platform God wants you to have the hunger praise the name of the Lord in the olden days people were never there were no posters people were never called to be told go for the meeting people were never coerced today we have to coerce we have to plead you almost have to even kneel down please come to church please 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 eh? please do this you know you have you have to so that someone will say nitajaribu that's the you know but when people have the hunger no one invites you I'm telling you, no one invites you. Sunday, you're in the house. No one has called you. You are just there. They find you there. Why? Because you have the hunger for God. Can I preach this thing? Because the way people are looking at me, you have the hunger and the thirst for God. Because God wants to do great things in your life. But it begins by you showing the great desire. He cannot increase you if you have not shown the great desire for his kingdom. Pastor, what are you saying? Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. Increase. Increase comes when you know the great desire. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. You must have the great desire for God. It must be burning in you. Yeah. It must be there. If someone has to keep on following you so that you come to church, it's a problem. Can somebody say mercy? mercy? It's a problem. Even today, you'll see even pastors have come with ideas. We have to bring an international singer so that you appear. <laughs> hmm? And even me, I have members who come when it is International Sunday. <laughs> hmm? But let me tell you, God wants you to seek him. And have great desire for him. More than other desires. Yes. God wants you to follow him. And you need to follow him more than you follow people on Twitter. Yes. Because some of you are great followers. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Some of us are great followers. And we have great following. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> But let me ask you, in your great following, are angels also following you? Because God wants you to follow and have the desire for him. Can I hear an amen? amen. Number two, how to have increase. Is to have right goodwill. So goodwill is very important. And I will explain that. The Bible says clearly, when he saw the multitude, he had compassion on them. He, had comp he was moved with compassion, verse, 40, for verse 34. He was moved with compassion. The word compassion can also be described as goodwill. He had compassion. He felt for them. You cannot see increase in your life if you do not have compassion for people. It's all about people. There has to be goodwill. Any time, anything that you do, know it is for people, not for yourself. It is for people. And you have, if you do not love people, don't think God is going to increase. Because what he gives you, he wants you to know, he will give it to you when you love people. So you must have the compassion. He was moved with compassion and looked at the people. They were like sheep without a shepherd. And when he saw that, he began to think about it. And he began to spend time with them. And he began to teach them. For there to be increase in our life, we need to have compassion. We need to be men and women of goodwill. You have to learn how to interact with somebody. You have to learn how to connect with someone. You have to learn how to be with somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. You are not meant to be an island. You are meant to be a connector. And it takes you to connect. Hello? It takes you to connect. If there is something I learned in the, in, 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 in the previous, um, what, 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 what did we call them? 
the elections that were done, the party nominations that were being done, is one thing. I was following it cleanly, even though I was outside the country. I realized those who survived were those who were connected with people. money and they wanted to flaunt and they were on choppers and they were always far beyond people they were not reachable they were up there they were up there they were up there you would just see them they would just contribute they're contributing to the noise of a society but not connecting you know you can contribute to the noise of a society but not connecting so they were contributing there but not connecting but some people were busy connecting house to house yeah. go they talk go they talk go. when the time of ballot came hmm my friend, connection is very important. Mm -hmm. And you must have the goodwill to connect with people. Don't look at people and say, mm -mm, I have no issues. No, you must have compassion. Praise the name of the Lord. You must have compassion because that is the only way increase is going to come your way. Can I hear an amen? amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? So that is connected to the other point that I want to say is this. You must have generosity. There has to be a great desire. There has to be a goodwill. And there has to be generosity. Generosity, why? Because the Bible says clearly, he asked, what do you have? And, and John says clearly, John says, in the book of John, he says that there was a boy who had two, two loaves, and, and who had five loaves and two fishes. It is John who connects it to a boy. But the disciples went and looked for it and, and, and came, came, came with it according to Mark. And, and we know where the fish came from and where the loaves came from. But the thing is this, I wanted to know twofold thing. If the boy said, I'm going to stay with what I have been given, I will not give it out. I will not give it to anyone. I will not share it. Guess what? The miracle of increase would not have taken place. Praise the name of the Lord. The miracle of increase would not have taken place. And I came to ask you as I begin to close. Could it be that you are the boy that has the two, the, 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 the two fish and the five loaves? Could it be you are the one that has the two fish and the five loaves? And you are keeping your two fish and your five loaves. Yet Jesus is waiting for it so that it can be distributed. The Bible says clearly that he released it. And when he released it... Jesus took it and blessed it. He prayed. And when he prayed, he took the five, and the, he broke it into pieces and gave it to the disciples and told the disciples, distribute it to the people. Distribute it to the people. Now the problem is here. When God gives the disciples and he has blessed the disciples and the disciples are not distributing, what happens? There is no increase. It was in the distribution that increase began to happen. Tell your neighbor it was in the distribution. That increase began to happen. And I want to say this. That God is looking at most of us. And most of us will miss heaven. Because there are some things that God has given unto you for distribution. But you've kept it to yourself. God gave you a talent. Are you using that talent? Or you're keeping it for yourself? When God blesses you and he gives you that particular uh, anointing, are you keeping it for yourself or you're using it for people? Because God told them, Jesus told them, take it and distribute it to the people. And the disciples began to distribute it to the people. When they were distributing it to the people, then increase began to take place. I came to tell you, if there are people who are letting the kingdom of God down, they are Christians themselves. When God blesses the church, it is not for us to immerse it to, your, to ourselves. It is not for us to keep it to ourselves. It is not for you to keep it to yourself. The atmosphere needs to change when you understand one thing. For me to create the atmosphere of increase, I need to have generosity. And generosity begins, what you have received, it is not yours. Because when the disciples got it, it was not theirs. It came from a boy. And Jesus took it and returned it to them. It was still not theirs. It was meant for the people. What you have is not yours. It is for the people. When you keep it to yourself, you are killing the flow of the increase of God everything that God has given unto you is for the kingdom of God and you need to release it for the kingdom of God don't keep it to yourself 
some people don't want to say amen but let me let me just push it the way i feel it every time we keep things for ourselves we are short circuiting the increase from god the bread did not increase when it was in the hands of jesus the bread and the fish multiplied when it was the hands of the disciples Christians, uh, disciples, uh, understand it does not multiply up there. It multiplies when we know how to deal with it rightly in our hands. Uh, when we begin distributing, God ensures uh, that the hand that gives uh, will always have more. And when we are busy giving, when we are busy being generous, when we are busy sharing, that is the time that God begins to work things in our life. Uh, understand this. Uh, it is like the four lepers. Uh, when they were seated down, uh, God did not do anything but when they began to walk God began to do something it requires you to get the little that you have and be ready to distribute it and be ready to release it for the kingdom of God because when you release it what happens is this God multiplies the little that he has given unto you so our problem is not demons our problem is not the devil can I preach this thing? Our problem is ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't need millionaires to come out from there to come and help the church. They're already in the church. But the problem is this, when they receive, you keep. We don't need singers to come out from there so that we can have good music in the church. We have people who are already talented to sing. They're in the church. Hello? God has given you and he's saying distribute. Yeah. Tell your neighbor distribute. I didn't hear you. Tell your neighbor distribute. We don't need pastors to come out from there. They're already here. Yeah. There are people who've been called for the call but they don't want to follow the call. Yeah. By the way, being a pastor is the highest thing. Yes. It is the highest call on earth. Yeah. Highest call on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't need help from outside. They told him, should we go and buy? He said, no. What do you have? So all the things that we need to be a mega church is already in us. Hello? All the things you need to be a billionaire and a millionaire is already in you. You're wasting time to go and call people. Oh, please have mercy on me. Oh, I need to connect to so-and-so. I need to be, no, no, no. no. You don't need anyone to introduce you to anybody. You don't, you, don't, you don't need nobody to introduce you to anybody because you already have a body. Amen. You don't need nobody to introduce you to anybody. You already have the body. Amen. So you have to understand one thing. That God has already looked into you. And he has seen in you there is the ability to increase. In you there is the ability to do any other thing. And I want to tell you today, we are well able we are the church that God is looking for. If you and me will rise up, if you and me will decide to distribute what God has given unto us, with you, if you and me will decide to use, use what God has already given to us, there is nothing that can describe what is going to happen because an implosion will change to become an explosion. Why? Because we are more than enough. Yes. Seated here, they are better singers. Than the ones who sing in the stage. Yeah. Seated here, here. Yeah. Seated here, they are better preachers yeah. than the one that is preaching. Sit here, here. That's right. Here, I'm telling you, look around. Look around. You have seen a millionaire. Yeah. You have seen. Yeah. Oh, some of you don't believe it. You have already seen. Yeah. And it only begins by doing what? the little that you have distribute hello if it is max playing the guitar that is the little knowledge that he has he is playing and he is distributing that thing i guarantee you god has the ability to get the little guitar that he's playing to amplify it to make it to make him international to open doors for him god has the ability because the little that he has given unto you you need to use it you need Amen. every church has it has been blessed with everything it needs to go to the next level Amen. but as I told you house of grace Mamas, our problem is not the devil change your focus change your focus 
for us to go where we need to go, there are distributors here. Yeah. Who need to start distributing? Yes. And I'm looking for that. Are you the distributor? Yes. There are distributors who need to distribute. Are you the distributor? Yes. Please help me preach to a distributor. Ask her, are you a distributor? Yes. Say, distributor, distribute. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I'm preaching. I just want to close. Ask the neighbor, neighbor, yes. are you the distributor? Yes. Ask the other neighbor, neighbor, yes. are you the distributor? We can easily buy the bus that we want. Yeah. But a distributor. Yeah. A distributor is sitting on what they need to distribute. Yeah. We can easily get to the land that we want. Yeah. But a distributor has to be willing to distribute. Yeah. You have to be willing. God, God is not looking for the great. He gave them little pieces of bread and fish. They could not, it, it was little compared to what people were waiting for. But as they were faithful with the little, as they were faithful with the little, God expanded. God increased and God brought increase in their life. I want to tell you today, as I come to the closure of the opening of this message, that God is about to increase the little that you are about to distribute. I said God is about to increase the little that you are about to distribute. If you believe in shout and say amen. There are people who are listening to me at the sound of my voice. I want to say this, that your tomorrow shall be greater than today. The end of this year shall be greater than the beginning. Because you distributed the little that God gave to you and you took it to the crowd, God began to do great things and God is going to do the same in your life. Any distributor will always be blessed. Amen. Down groups. He told them distribute to companies of 10, I mean hundreds and fifties, groups. When we talk about connect to a group, it is serious. Because God, when he thinks, he does not think individual, he thinks group. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will bless you and your children, groups. Mm -hmm. He thinks groups. Some of you just want to be isolated alone. And, and, and just being alone. God did not make you an island. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Join, a join a group. It is biblical. Grouping is biblical. When we meet in cell groups, it is biblical. Yes. It is not that the people who meet in cell groups are idle. No. Oh. No. It is not that they are idle. They understand the importance. And let me open because I'm talking to you as a pastor. It is even easy for me to meet your need when you're in a group. Yes. Some of you are suffering and going through issues and no one is standing with you because you are so isolated. Please don't be isolated. Yes. You have to be in a group. Yes. I don't need to impress you today. You have to be in a group. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God needs you in a group. Amen. And it will be so foolish for you when the Lord blesses you and you think the blessing is just for you. Because for the distributors, if I have to backtrack, when they were given the food, if they would have made the blunder to eat, they would have short-circuited. But it was meant for the group. There is something you can do for the kingdom of God. And I want you to rise up and say, I will do it. Because the atmosphere of increase begins to take place when we understand the beauty of being in groups. Can you say groups? groups. I didn't hear you. Can you say groups? groups? The beauty of being in groups is very important. You cannot see increase if you're just isolated. God does not just bless an individual alone. Yeah. When he gives you, he sees beyond you. He sees one, two, three, four, five. And the thing has to flow to the others. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Write the last one. For there to be increase, the last G is gathering. Then he told them, gather the fragments. Collect what has remained and bring and they gathered and brought it together 
for us to see increase we must learn the secret of gathering God is a gatherer he gathers he gathers if you read the Bible you will see how God gathers Ezekiel 34 talks about I will gather you he's a gatherer he does not leave anything to west when the 99 when a shepherd the bible says when a shepherd sees that one has gone he does what he will leave the 99 and go for the one i was doing a shepherd's training i was telling them the reason why he would leave one and go for the then i leave the 99 and go for one is because when they were selling sheep they will not sell sheep like that they will sell sheep in batches of groups of a hundreds and fifties that is how business was being done in the olden day in the hebrew culture so if you brought 99 to the market and there was no one that batch was considered defiled it would not have been bought so you have made all the journey and you came and realized i brought the 99 and one is not here what do they do they will leave the 99 run look for the one and bring it then the buyer will be ready to buy if not you will go back with your 99 so ladies and gentlemen we have to be gatherers Amen. gather the fragments and i came to tell you gather tell your neighbor gather. gather gathering we have to gather you have to go out gather bring someone in the house you have to gather god is a gatherer he calls people he calls people even the, them that are there he brings them together he is a gatherer and i want to ask you as i close have you been gathering for the house or not have you been gathering for the house or not because being a gatherer god ensures their blessings that come your way i want to tell you go out and do something for god when we tell you bring a visitor bring a visitor that is creating the atmosphere of increase being a gatherer you are out gathering you are out doing something it is creating the atmosphere of increase tell your neighbor there is increase in the house i didn't hear you can you tell your neighbor there is increase in the house i want to tell you today god is here to increase you and we have to create that atmosphere it does not come on its own it is an atmosphere we have to create and it only comes when we put ourselves out there and say we will do as god wants us to do there has to be the great desire there has to be the goodwill there has to be the generosity there has to be the groups there has to be the gathering we will do this and get increase in our life but if we are just seated like that and waiting for it to come like that, it does not fall from heaven. Atmosphere is created. It is created. So today I want you to look at yourself. Even for you to get more, have you gathered? Start even with your own money. Do you waste it or do you use it in the right way? Gathering. Sometimes there is a lot of blessings in gathering. A lot. Even the fragments. Praise the name of the Lord. But gathering. You can gather. It can look like it's a small thing. Gather. Bring it together. Then the Lord will bless you. Because he realizes this one is a person that does not waste what I've given to them. God wants you to be a gatherer. Every opportunity he gives you, gather for the kingdom gather for the kingdom go to your friends and gather them bring them to the house of the lord go to whatever is given unto you gather because as you do that blessings will come your way have you been blessed today yes. i'm talking about gathering have you been blessed today yes. stand up on your feet we want to make this prayer in the name of jesus in the name of jesus